everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed, and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are all having a great day. So in today's video, I am working on a 14 by 18 canvas, and I am using my 10 ounce five chamber split cup today. Um, I haven't used the 10 ounce one yet, so I thought, why not? <laughs> so the colors that I have picked out today, I've got Deco Art Peacock Pearl. I just love this color. Um, Deco Art Americana Copper. Oops. Soho Urban Artist Ella Zarin Crimson. And this is really one of my favorite reds to use. Um, it's, it's such a, a pretty red. I love it. Um, and then the last color I've got is Deco Art Americana 24 Karat Gold. Um, and I've only got four colors because I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Peacock Pearl in two of the chambers. Um, that's how I did it in the six ounce and I wanted to try it in uh, this one to see how it works. Um, one worked with the six ounces, so I'm going to try it again. Um, and all of my paints that I'm using today are mixed with um, my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. And they were all mixed uh, one part paint to two and a half parts pouring medium. All right, so I'm just jumping in and getting started here. So I'm going to start with the outside chamber and I'm filling it, like I said, with the, um, the Peacock Pearl. It's a metallic and it's super, super pretty. And I don't know if I have enough in my bottle, so I may have to add because I want to put it on this side as well. So we're going to see. If I don't, then I'm going to add another color. I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> I'm actually kind of just trying to think um, what color I want to put in there. So I might go with the metallic blue. I do have a really nice uh, deco art makes a, a sapphire, a deep sapphire that I like. So we'll see. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe I'll go with another non-metallic because I've got three ready. So we'll see. And I'm trying, when I fill these, I'm trying not to squirt it really hard because I don't want to create any more uh, bubbles in there. Um, I did have to kind of um, give the gold and the copper I didn't really shake them. What I tried to do, um, and what I did today, is I try to roll, roll my bottle, so like lay it and roll it like this on the, on the table. That tends to help it not create, not get so many air bubbles. So we'll see. I really don't think I have enough in there. So let's see. I have. You know what, I think I'm going to go with the um, Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Um, this is what I'm, I'm going to add to it. So, move these out real quick. And then I'm just going to fill up this last chamber with that. I love, the Amsterdam Prussian Blue is really, really pretty. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite blues to use. Um, I do have... Um, mineral blue from Soho that I really love as well, but I'm out. I have to get an order together um, for that. But this is a really nice blue. I don't use a lot of black, so I like a nice dark blue. I love a good Payne's Gray as well. Um, golden makes a lovely, lovely Payne's Gray.
And you can see I do have some air bubbles. That's get rid of those real quick like. I've got the fine touch turquoise in my bottle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all around. Of course, I'm going to have air bubbles here, so I'm going to get those out. Make sure, pop those good. Most of this is probably going to get knocked off anyway, so. Let's see here, I've got a couple of them in the middle there. I'm just going to get rid of them now, so they'll be able to spread out. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and start swirling around. keep that turquoise that's in the middle there so I'm trying to decide as I'm swirling how I want to open this up so I think I'm going to start going actually I think I'm gonna go around I think I'm gonna come back. Yeah, and go this way. Grab a hold of my canvas levelers. Alright guys, here we go with the dried photos, and I absolutely love how this painting dried. These colors are just so warm and rich, 
and they just blended so well together. So I'm loving it. I would love to hear what you guys think, so leave me a comment below. And don't forget, if you got something out of my video today, to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, to go ahead and subscribe now. And make sure to hit the notification bell, that way you're notified when I upload new videos. And one way to really help out my channel is to share my video. So if there is someone you think may enjoy it, go ahead and share it with them. Alright guys, I do hope that you enjoyed my video today. I wish you all a happy new year. And don't forget if you are interested in any acrylic pouring tools to check out acrylicpouringtools.com. And I have got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.